Okay, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh And a very good day to everyone Okay, so welcome back to our class So today we're going to learn a new chapter Okay, chapter 9 Probability of combined events Okay And in this chapter you will learn, okay Few things Okay, the first one is combined event Okay, and then you will learn what is dependent event and independent event, what is mutually exclusive event and non-mutually exclusive event, and what is application of probability of combined event. Okay, so let's look at the first uh, learning standard for today. Okay, so the first learning standard is describe combined event and list out the possible outcome. Okay, the possible combined event. Okay, so before that, okay, what are combined events? Okay, so in our daily life, we need to make a lot of decisions based on uncertainties. Okay, for example, choosing the science or the art stream class or selecting what product to sell on the school entrepreneurship day. This decision incur risk and we should be able to assess the risk before making any decision. Okay, probability is used to evaluate the uncertainties that are associated in the process of decision making okay the combined events are the combination of two or more events in an outcome okay for examples the possible outcome for two people's playing rock paper scissors okay are uh, scissors rock scissors paper scissors scissors maybe rock scissors rock paper rock rock paper scissors paper rock and paper paper uh, okay so uh, from that game okay we can list out all the possible outcome okay the combined events can result from one or more experiment okay so look over here okay in general okay we have this first formula okay and s equals to n a times n B, where an S is all the possible number of outcomes, okay, and A and NB represents the number of outcome of event A and event B, okay. So let's look at the first example, okay. Write the sample space for the combined event below, okay. So we have five cards labeled with letters T E K U N. T E K U N are put in a box. Two cards are taken out at random from the box one by one without replacement. Okay, so in this chapter, you need to aware of this word without replacement or with replacement. Okay, what does it mean with without replacement and with replacement? Okay, for example, okay, you have uh, one box. Okay, in that box, you have five um, apples, for example. Okay, when you take out one apple, okay, and then you put it back inside the box, okay, that is what we call with replacement. Okay, if without replacement, you take out the first apple and then we take out the second apple okay you don't put it back inside okay so what can we say with with that replacement and with replacement the number of sample space will be different okay so contohlah tadi kan awak dah ambil satu apple so daripada 5 tinggal 4 ambil lagi satu daripada 4 tinggal 3 uh, itu without replacement If with replacement awak uh, Asal 5 Awak ambil 1 Tinggal 4 kan Lepas tu kita letak balik Dia jadi 5 balik uh, Yang kedua Ambil lagi 1 okay, Tinggal 4 Masuk balik yang awak ambil tadi Tinggal 5 balik uh, Itu adalah with replacement Okay now Let's look at uh, number 1 Okay So for number 1 Okay, for me personally, saya lebih suka, I love to use grid to answer this type of question. Okay, so for example, uh, we have berapa kali? Dua kali tadi kan? Two times, uh, sorry, two cards. So, you need to draw like this. Okay, so the first card. So, T-E-K-U-N. Okay, and then the second card. T-E-K-U-N. Okay. 
Oleh kerana ini card yang sama, okay, the same card, okay, you should uh, hitamkan yang tengah sini. Uh, mana yang sama ni kan, uh, awak hitamkan. Okay, so the probability is, okay, oops, mana tadi? Okay, so it can be T E, okay. T K nampak eh T E T E T K T K T U T U T N T N okay okay and then E T K E K E U E N. Okay, next K T K E. Okay, next K U. Last kali K N. Uh, next U T U E U K. U N. Okay, last one. N T N E N K N U. Okay. So, maksudnya, this is all the possible outcome from the event. So, how can we write it? Okay, you can write it. Okay, curly bracket. Okay, and then the first one. Okay. So T E, okay, and then we have T K, and then we have T U, and then we have T N. Okay, and then continue with E T E K E U E N. Okay, next K T. K E K U K N U T U E U K U N Okay, and last one N T N E N K N N Okay, so close the bracket. Okay, so this is how you, uh, one of the easiest way for you to list down the possible outcome. Okay, next, the second question. Two coins are toast. Okay, so we have T for tail and H for head. Okay, so how can we use this situation for question B? So we have okay tail hit tail hit okay so uh, this is a uh, toast okay two coins okay so two different coins okay di dua shilling yang berbeza so maksud dia adalah kemungkinan kita dapat tail tail betul tak uh, so ni shilling satu ni shilling dua eh so kita boleh mungkin boleh dapat t t t h ataupun h t h h okay so our sample space must be t t t h h t dan h h okay now saya nak explain di sini kenapa pula uh, saya kenapa di sini saya uh, hitam kan kita cancel tak boleh ha, sebab okey ini tadi dia card satu set je card daripada tekun awak ada T E K U N je ha okey maksud dia okey ini uh, dari card yang sama ini kita cabut kali pertama ha, ini kita cabut kali ke dua ha, contoh kalau awak dah cabut T okey ada lagi tak T dalam card tu tak ada kan 
contoh eh Kita ada satu kotak Kita ada T-E-K-U-N Ini sahaja yang kat dalam kotak Okay Contoh awak dah uh, ambil dah uh, T ni Okay Ni kali pertama ambil T So untuk kali kedua Hanya ada E-K-U-N uh, Faham tak? Sebab tu T-T ni tak akan mungkin terjadi uh, Yang T-T ni T-T Ha, ini tak akan mungkin terjadi E, E Tak akan mungkin terjadi ha, Okay So, bila uh, Dia cut yang sama Okay, kita cabut dua kali ha, So, inilah situasi dia Okay ha, Lain pula situasi macam duit shilling ni tadi Kita ada dua duit shilling yang berbeza ha, Sebagai contoh, awak ada duit shilling satu dan duit shilling dua Awak lambung duit shilling yang pertama Mungkin dapat T Lambung duit shilling yang kedua Mungkin dapat T juga ha, Sebab tu tengah-tengah ni ada Ok So saya harap clear eh Example One Ok Next kita cuba buat uh, Self practice 9.1 A Ok So write the sample space For the combined event below Ok So two books are chosen at random From a bookshelf That contains two history books A geography book And mathematics book Okay So kita kena check dulu So kita ada berapa buku sejarah history Ada dua kan So H1 H2 And then kita ada geography So kita ada G Dan kita ada last kali buku maths M Okay So dia kata two books Okay, so kalau two books So kita boleh lah guna cara ni juga kan Okay Kita buku sejarah satu Sejarah dua Kita ada buku geografi Dan kita ada buku maths Okay Tapi ha, ini set kita ha, Tapi kita pilih dua kali kan Dua buku kita pilih ha, So tulis balik H1 H2 G M Okay So sekarang okay, Cuba kita fikir Okay. So saya ada satu set buku ni okay. Kalau saya dah ambil buku history satu okay, Pilihan kedua Ada tak saya akan dapat history satu lagi? Uh, tak mungkin kan? Mustahil, tak boleh uh, So kita kena hitamkan yang tengah-tengah okay. Okay. So apakah kemungkinan yang kita ada? So mungkin kita dapat H1, H2 Okay. Mungkin kita dapat H1 Geografi Mungkin dapat H1 Maths okay. Mungkin juga kita dapat H2 H1 uh, Mungkin dapat buku History 2 Geografi Mungkin buku History 2 Maths okay. Mungkin juga buku Geografi dan History 1 Buku Geografi dan History 2 Ataupun buku geografi dan maths nah, Last kali Mungkin buku maths dan history 1 Mungkin buku maths dan history 2 Mungkin buku maths dan buku geografi nah, Okay So kita punya sample space nah, Kali bracket kurungan Okay H1, H2 Okay kita ada H1, G kita ada H1M Ok, kita mungkin juga ada H2, H1 Ok, H2G H2M Ok, next We maybe have G, H1 G, H2 G, M Ok, finally we have M, H1 M, H2 O M G Okay, curly bracket Okay, so this is how You solve the first question Okay Okay, one Okay, next, number two The children's gender For the family of two Children Okay So The children's gender For the family of two Children Okay So gender 
mungkin ada okay, lelaki saya buat English lah boys or girls Now, this is for the anak yang pertama because it stated that two children this is the first child boy or girl kita tak tahu and then for the second child boy or girl ok so sample anak dia maybe ok maybe the first child is boy maybe the second child is also boy ok or maybe the first child is boy maybe the second child is girl ok or maybe the first child is girl the second child is boy ok or lastly maybe the first child is girl and the last child is so uh, the outcome ok for this case ok is ok we have boy 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 girl girl boy or girl girl ok this is number Okay, next number three. Okay, a fair dice is rolled and a fair coin is tossed simultaneously. So kita ada dua. We have two things over here. We have a dice and a coin. Okay, so we know the dice. We have six faces. Okay, and coin we have two. Okay, okay. So how can we solve this one? Okay. So the first one is coin, betul? Eh, sorry, uh, dice. Okay, so dice we have six faces. So one, two, three, four, five, six. The second one is coin. Coin we have head and tail. Okay. Okay now. So the first, okay. First toast, okay. Uh, lambungan kali pertama, okay. Mungkin kita akan dapat uh, the dice one, okay. Ataupun uh, shilling head, okay. Or uh, we get number one on the dice or tail for the coin, uh, boleh? Ataupun kita boleh dapat nombor dua atau head. Okay, number two or tail. Okay, next, maybe we get number three, head. Number three, tail. Okay, maybe we get number four, head. Four, tail. Five, head. Five, tail. Six, head. Six, tail. Ah, ni kemungkinan-kemungkinan yang ada. Okay, so kita listkan. Okay, so we have Okay, another way to write Okay, nak tulis macam ni pun boleh juga sebenarnya Okay, tak salah So um, 1H 1T 2H 2T 3H 3T 4H 4T 5H 5T 6T kalau tulis macam ni pun uh, diterima juga tak salah okey tapi kalau boleh tulislah dengan cara yang uh, betul okey which is okey you can write it as 1h okey 1 tail 2h 2 tail and so on okey boleh so center nombor 3 nombor 4 ni uh, boleh cuba sendirilah okey azha and Kai Meng play a maximum of five badminton matches. Three player that wins three set is the winner. Nanti aku cuba kemudian lah. Okay. Okay. 